Hey, what's up, Star Status? It's 3D the Rap Star, aka is the Benz Man. And today I'm gonna be reacting to, I thought this was funny, 10 Mercedes Benz that don't belong in your garage. Now, even though I thought it was funny, it is very much serious, meaning it's almost kind of like what are the 10 most unreliable Benzes that you should never buy. And I want to react to this. It's something different than what I always do. That's why I've been reacting to a lot of videos and doing it this way. So if y'all could like, comment, and subscribe on these videos, it'll be very much appreciated. And all right, y'all, so it's saying right here, you know, some of these cars are seriously flawed, and I think it's certain years to stay away from, so let's get right into it. So number 10 is the 1997 to 2004 Mercedes-Benz A-Class, which out here, you know, in the Northern American market, we don't have the A-Class. So I don't know much about it, but the reason why I do know it would be unreliable is because they don't make many of them. Anytime they don't make many or as limited productions, it's kind of like, where are you going to get the parts from? But let's go ahead and take a look and actually see what's going on with it. I'm just curious. So with a face not even its mother could love, oh, that's wrong. The first generation Mercedes-Benz A-Class is a terrible car that isn't just unappealing, but also unreliable. You know, it's low mounted engine caused for a lot of problems and it did not pass the moose test, which means it could easily flip. All right, number nine, the 2015 Mercedes-Benz C-Class should never be in your garage. What? I like the C-Class, but maybe it's just this model. I think it's just something that went on with this model. Average yearly maintenance cost. Oh, they're, they're breaking it down. So the C250 would be 640. The C300 would be 807. And the C400 would be 1272. So with that said, yes, that's why sometimes I don't want an AMG. Higher trim you go up in... <laughs> the higher trim is coming out of your wallet. And so remember, this is a reputable site. So remember, if you are planning to get something on this list, you might want to think twice. If you was looking at a 2015 C-Class, maybe now you want to get a 2016. So not only is it one of the worst C-Classes to stay away from, but also one of the most atrocious luxury cars you should be aware of. The cost of maintenance is sky high for a compact luxury sedan. And that's all you really need to know. You know, you're shelling out too much money for a compact luxury sedan. So here we go, the engine electrical problem and a lot of cars recalled for loss of steering function. Number eight, the 1996 to 2002 Mercedes-Benz E-Class. All right, man, hold on. I told y'all, well, I told some of y'all because I made a video about my E320 of it wasn't this year it was a 2004 but a lot of people were saying oh the e320 is lovely is nice and reliable i agree but i did make that video explaining uh why it caused so many problems but some people like gave me a little backlash for it but it's right here on the list some of those e-classes yeah this is the earlier one but they are on the list and they are talking about how the e-class of before used to be way more reliable than these but once these came out it just kind of went downhill and so it's body highly prone to rust severe electrical problems and low quality construction and components number seven the 2003 to 2008 mercedes-benz e-class i have videos on this on my channel for the longest time explaining this from experience but everybody, well, not everybody, but people in the comments was like, mine been reliable, mine, but I was trying to tell them about the electrical problems and everything, and yes, it made this list. Now, even though I had a question mark by it, you know, the comments were very controversial and, you know, mixed opinions about it, but that's okay. But it did end up making this list, so that's what I want to say. So what are they saying? Models to avoid. 2003, 2006, and 2007. So even though I had a 2004, I was just trying to help people out. They are great cars, but had electrical gremlins. The radio wasn't that loud, so I can understand why I was on this list. So number six, the 2014 Mercedes E-Class. So this is a model year that got recalled, what, nine times for multiple reasons, including oil leaking onto the hot engine and rubber seals coming in contact with the exhaust systems. So it's saying if those two issues are not resolved, it could start a fire. It just could be bad for the car. So airbag malfunctioning issue, fading interior, and cooling issues. All right, number five, the 2002 Mercedes-Benz M-Class. Now, I used to hear a lot about these, 
they can be reliable, but I do think they have the same issues that the E-Class be having that the year I had. So it's a great car, great overall car, but it's just plagued by certain issues that happen to it, like including, you know, faulty door locks, power steering failure, ABS malfunctioning. So number four is another Mercedes-Benz M-Class, the 2006 Mercedes-Benz M-Class. So let's see what's going on with this one. I'm curious about this one. So it's another one that made the list. Okay, so highly prone to brake failure, powertrain problems, crankshift and camshaft malfunctioning. Yes, that is bad. Number three, the 2007 to 2008 Mercedes-Benz GL class. And do y'all see that? It says when it first launched in 2007, the GL class was intended to be a replacement for the mighty G-Wagon. Nah, bruh, you are not replacing the G-Wagon. I'm so happy they didn't. And I like the GL, but no, but look at this, engine failure. Highly prone to brake failure. Faulty blind spot monitoring system. That one, okay. But the other two, you can't live without that. that. That would make for a bad, unreliable, lemon type of car. Number two, we're getting close. 2003 to 2005 Mercedes-Benz SL Class. Yes, I have heard some things about the SL Class that make you want to avoid it. This is my dad's favorite Mercedes is the SL. And I will say it's lovely. It's lovely because of the size. You know, they had the convertible. Everything about it just screams Mercedes sports kind of car. Now, if you are looking to get an SL, those would be the years to avoid. Rusting and water leakage, faulty active body control system, SBC braking system malfunctions. Here we go. Number one, the 20. 07 Mercedes-Benz S550. Yes, I have heard things about this car. What is making this model year so bad on this car? Let's see. Average year maintenance costs is 1,344. Not too bad. Number recalls only three. So what is going on with this thing? Lemon alert. This Mercedes flagship might just be the most luxurious disappointment the brand has ever produced. The 2007 model year was the first born of the W221 Generation S Class. And all right, so those are the 10 model Benzes that you should never have in your garage. Remember, it's not the car though, it's the certain model years that were bad. So the whole thing that makes this S Class bad is right there, engine failure, transmission failure, that's never good. So you, yeah, you may wanna steer clear of that 2007 no matter how good the deal is and no matter how low the mileage is unless it got a new engine and transmission already put in it. So those are the 10 ones. Don't ever put those in your garage, ever. So signing off, I hope y'all liked the video. Signing off, Ben's man.